Welcome, travel enthusiasts, to another adventure. Today we dive into the rich, vibrant beauty of Saudi Arabia's scenic landscapes. Picture a land of contrasts where endless desert dunes meet the deep blue sea, where ancient ruins rise amidst modern metropolises, where rugged mountains give way to lush oases. This is Saudi Arabia, a country as diverse as it is captivating. Over the past few years, Saudi Arabia has opened its doors wider to the world, inviting us all to explore its unique landscapes and rich heritage. From the vast expanse of the empty quarter, the largest continuous sand desert in the world, to the verdant mountains of the Asir province, Saudi Arabia is a treasure trove of natural beauty waiting to be discovered. So pack your virtual bags and strap on your adventure goggles. Join us as we embark on a journey through the most breathtaking scenery Saudi Arabia has to offer. Our first stop is the Empty Quarter, also known as Rub al Khali, the largest continuous sand desert in the world. Imagine a vast expanse of golden sand, stretching as far as the eye can see. The Empty Quarter is a seemingly infinite sea of sand dunes, some reaching up to 800 feet high. It's an ever-changing landscape, with the wind constantly reshaping the dunes, creating an ephemeral beauty that is both stunning and enigmatic. The Empty Quarter is not just an ocean of sand, it's a testament to the power of nature and the resilience of life. Despite the harsh conditions, life finds a way. From the hardy desert plants that brave the arid conditions, to the resilient animals that have adapted to this harsh environment, the desert is alive in its own unique way. Visiting the Empty Quarter is not just about witnessing the grandeur of nature, it's about experiencing solitude in its purest form. Here, away from the noise and hustle of city life, you can find a sense of peace and tranquility that's hard to come by in our modern world. It's a place where you can listen to the silence, watch the stars, and feel the vastness of the universe. The Empty Quarter is also a place of cultural significance. For centuries it has been a part of the Bedouin way of life, a nomadic people who have learned to thrive in this harsh environment. Their stories, their songs, and their traditions add a human dimension to this seemingly inhospitable land. So, whether you're a nature enthusiast, a culture vulture, or simply someone seeking solitude and peace, the Empty Quarter has a lot to offer. It's a place that challenges our perceptions, that shows us the beauty and simplicity, and that reminds us of our place in the grand scheme of things. In the words of T.E. Lawrence, it's a clean, clear, empty land with nothing but sand and sun. Indeed, the Empty Quarter is more than just a desert. It's a testament to the beauty and resilience of nature, and the indomitable spirit of life. This majestic desert landscape provides a unique glimpse into the natural beauty of Saudi Arabia. Our journey continues to Asir province, a green haven in the midst of the desert. In the southwestern corner of Saudi Arabia, Asir province emerges like a mirage, a lush landscape of fertile mountains and terraced fields that stands in stark contrast to the surrounding sand dunes. Asir, which translates to difficult in Arabic, is a name that belies the province's natural beauty. Its high-altitude location, nestled amongst the Sarawat Mountains, provides it with a pleasant, cool climate that's a breath of fresh air in the typically hot country. The province's climate has enabled it to foster a rich and diverse ecosystem, unlike anywhere else in Saudi Arabia. The province's mountains, the tallest in the kingdom, are cloaked in green, a testament to the region's fertility. These mountains are home to terraced fields that have been cultivated for centuries, a human-made marvel that only enhances the region's natural beauty. The terraces, painstakingly carved into the mountainsides are a sight to behold, especially when they're blanketed in a patchwork quilt of crops. But the province's beauty isn't limited to its landscapes. It's also home to a unique array of flora and fauna. From juniper trees to Arabian leopards, the region's biodiversity is truly remarkable. Asir is a birdwatcher's paradise, home to more than 170 species of birds, including the rare Arabian woodpecker and the Asir magpie, which can't be found anywhere else in the world. Asir's pleasant climate, coupled with its natural beauty, has made it a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. Whether you're hiking through the mountains, exploring the terraced fields, or simply enjoying the cool weather, Asir province offers a refreshing change of pace from the typical desert landscape. In a country known for its deserts, Asir province stands out as a green oasis. Its fertile mountains, unique biodiversity, and pleasant climate make it an unmissable destination on any trip to Saudi Arabia. With its green landscapes and cool climate, Asir province offers a refreshing contrast to Saudi Arabia's desert regions. We now head to the Red Sea coastline, 
a stunning stretch of pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. The coastline, with its endless array of sun-drenched beaches, is truly a sight to behold. It's not just a beautiful sight, it's a place where the desert meets the sea creating an extraordinary landscape that's both rugged and serene. Let's dive beneath the surface of the azure waters, where a world of breathtaking coral reefs awaits. These underwater gardens, teeming with vividly colored fish and other marine life are a paradise for divers and snorkelers. Picture yourself floating amidst this underwater spectacle, surrounded by the vibrant hues of the reef and its inhabitants. It's an experience that truly embodies the magic of the Red Sea coastline. But it's not just about the underwater world. The Red Sea coastline also offers opportunities for beachcombing, sunbathing and simply soaking in the stunning surroundings. Imagine strolling along the sandy shores, the warm sun on your skin, the sound of waves lapping against the shore, and a gentle sea breeze rustling through the palm trees. It's a place where you can truly unwind, away from the hustle and bustle of city life. Now let's talk about the marine life. The Red Sea is a thriving ecosystem, home to a wide variety of species, from playful dolphins to graceful manta rays. And let's not forget about the sea turtles, these ancient mariners, often seen nesting on the beaches. It's a testament to the rich biodiversity of this region, and a reminder of our responsibility to preserve and protect these natural treasures. As we explore the Red Sea coastline, we're not just discovering a beautiful landscape, we're also uncovering a world of adventure, relaxation, and biodiversity. From the stunning beaches to the captivating underwater world, every aspect of the Red Sea coastline invites you to immerse yourself in its beauty. The Red Sea coastline is a testament to Saudi Arabia's diverse natural beauty. It's here, on these sun-kissed beaches and beneath these crystal-clear waters, that you'll find a piece of paradise waiting to be discovered. Our final destination is Najran City, a historical gem in the southern region of Saudi Arabia. Nestled near the Yemeni border, this city invites us into a mesmerizing blend of past and present. Imagine a city where the echoes of ancient civilizations resonate through the air, where the sand beneath your feet whispers tales of bygone eras. This is the charm of Najran City. Its roots trace back over 4,000 years, making it one of the oldest continually inhabited places on Earth. As we delve into the heart of the city, we encounter the remnants of its storied past, the city is dotted with ancient ruins and mud-brick forts that have withstood the test of time, each one a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the people who once called this place home. Among these historical treasures one stands out, the impressive Al-Ukdud archaeological site. Named after an ancient city mentioned in the Quran, Al-Ukdud is a portal to the past. The site is home to petroglyphs, ancient tombs and remnants of dwellings offering a glimpse into the lives of the people who inhabited this region thousands of years ago. But Najran City is not just about the past, it's a living, breathing city that embraces its history while looking forward to the future. It's a place where ancient traditions blend seamlessly with modern life, where the hum of the city mingles with the tranquil silence of the desert. Najran's natural beauty is as captivating as its history, the city boasts a unique desert landscape punctuated by towering sand dunes and serene wadis. These natural wonders offer a stark contrast to the bustling cityscape providing a peaceful retreat for those seeking solace in nature. As we bid farewell to Najran City we take with us memories of a place where history and nature intertwine, where the echoes of the past reverberate in the present. Najran City combines historical intrigue with natural beauty, rounding off our tour of Saudi Arabia's scenic highlights. We've journeyed through deserts, mountains, beaches and ancient cities exploring the scenic wonders of Saudi Arabia. We've witnessed the vast expanse of the empty quarter, the world's largest sand desert, and marveled at the rugged beauty of the Asr province. We've strolled along the breathtaking Red Sea coastline and delved into the rich history of Najran City. Each place has told its unique tale, painting a picture of a land that's as diverse as it is beautiful. A land where ancient traditions and modernity coexist, where every corner holds a new surprise, a new story. So where should we head next? The globe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. We'd love to hear what part of the world you'd like us to explore next. Please share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to help our channel grow. Until our next adventure, stay curious and keep exploring.